All right, so the, the, the learning objectives is that when you complete this chapter, you should be able to understand the three time horizons and which model apply for each use. And by time horizon, we're talking about short term, medium term, long term, right? Um, you should be able to explain when to use each of the four qualitative models. You should be able to apply the naive, moving average, exponential smoothing, and trend method. Um, you should be able to compute three measures of forecast accuracy, right? And hopefully we'll get through some of those um, in the tutorials today and tomorrow. Develop seasonal in 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 indices or indexes. Um, conduct a regression and correlation analysis. Some of you have done this in the past. Correlation and regression. Um, use uh, tracking signal. That's going to be new to you. Um, so we're going to be doing quite a bit of calculations calculations in this course. So what is forecasting? So forecasting is a process of predicting a future event, right? Now, some of you would have been used to your forecasting from your decision science days. By show of hands, just so I know, and quickly do it, please. Can you just show me the persons who, oops, can I just, by show of hands, the persons who have never done forecasting or did not do um, decision science? Vanessa, your hand was up, so take it down. Persons who have never done decision science, show of hands, please or I've never done forecasting. By forecasting, we're talking about simple moving average, weighted moving average, um, and exponential, exponential smoothing. Anybody? So it would seem to me that, again, my mouse is giving me a warm time. There's nobody who had put up their hand. So everybody, which is good, everybody has tasted forecasting. So we could be, we run through this in good time. Excellent. All right, so the underlying basis of all business decision will be focusing on forecasting. And we're talking about businesses that include anything to do with production, inventory, personnel, and facilities has to do um, or, or has to come across forecasting at some point in time, right? So let's look at the forecasting time horizons. They're short-term range forecasting. And here we're talking about anything less than a year, which we say short-term forecasting. It's generally less than three months though, right? So you're talking about purchasing, job scheduling, for workforce levels, job assignments, um, and production, pr production levels, right? We do that short-term. Um, in terms of medium range forecast, we're talking about anything from three months to three years. And don't say it's conflicting because we said it's up to one year, right? But however, what we're saying in the main is anything between between three months and three years, all right? Um, and we're talking about sales, production planning, budgeting, almost everything just the same. We're talking about looking for medium forecast. In terms of long range forecast, in terms of long range forecast, anything greater than three years is what we're talking about. And we're talking about when you're planning for new production facilities, because these are gonna be long-term decisions that are gonna mainly or mostly be the, 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 um, 